Hey everybody, it's Linda with Copperhead Collectibles. Today in this video, we're going to look at some 1971 Kennedy Half Dollars. I have four of them to show you. Three of them are 1971 D's, and the other one is AP, which is, does not have the mint mark on it. Uh, it does come from Philadelphia. This is the one we are actually looking at right now. It does not have a mint mark on it. Uh, I wanted to share these with you because 1971s have a lot of different errors in them. Uh, this one is, most of these are, all, actually all four of these I'm going to show you have errors on the back only. No adverse errors that I know of. Uh, if you see something, let me know. Um, otherwise, I think all my errors are on the back. And uh, let's flip this over and see what we got. We'll start it here with United. As you can see, it is most definitely errored. This is a double D reverse on United as you can see it plain as day very very obvious as you can see same with United and our states United and states all of this in here the S the A the T the E the S on the top here uh, really really good example of error doubling I do believe this is a machine error um, so that uh, let's flip this around here real quick and uh, you can see America is the same thing lots of good error on that doubling error you can see this tip of the wing I'm not sure if that's technically an error or not or if it's just a ding from another coin in the bag uh, but it is damaged there at that tip um, and then you come down here and you always want to look at your half dollar because I find errors in this all the time uh, we'll see that in a few. Uh, you want to look at your FG to make sure that they're both there. Uh, the tail feathers of your bird will have errors. Your uh, arrows will have errors on them. Uh, the top and bottoms and sides. So always look at your errors. Your wings, always all of your wings, the size of the wings, the tip of the wing. Um, even your stars will have errors on them. So you need to look at those too. Always look around all everything, you know, um, <laughs> everything as far as I'm concerned. Uh, but those are the areas, areas that I see most errors in. So let's look at the other one and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to show you the front real quick. Here's the front. No noticeable error that is worthy of discussing. It is a 1971D. As you can see, this one has the D mint mark on it. Known seen error here. In Liberty and around the head uh, you always want to look around the ear area and his chin I find uh, area through here um, so we want to check those out as well so let's flip this over and see what we got here okay um, this one here has it on as you can see it's not on the United States like the other one uh, so no all coins are the same for sure as you can see, there is nothing on America as well. And there's nothing on that tip of the wing. I don't see anything on anything else. The stars look okay. Um, the side of these wings look okay. And then you come down here and whoop, look at that. Tail feathers. And then the, the tip of the wing. Okay, and... Uh, like I said, you want to always look at your olive branch. See if there's anything on your olive branch. But you can see as the arrow is definitely doubling on the bottom of that arrow. And the FG is kind of faded, but it's still there. All right, so that's a really good example of the tail feathers and the arrows being doubled. And uh, this one here. Again, I'll show you the front. And again, you can see the little bit of filling on that that D. Um, it's not completely a filled mint mark, but it's almost filled. As you can see, there's nothing really on this besides the back. Good clean edges on the face, on the B, the E, the R, the T, and the Y. And uh, interest. Okay, let's flip this over. And let's start with United. As you can see, nothing on United. 
nothing on states and then you get over here and look at F, the O and the F. There's some doubling right in here, right in there. See that doubling there? You can see it really good. Okay. And then America. Sorry. And then America, you can see all of this doubling as well. All over this coin. All over it. Uh, not as much on the A, but there's a little bit here and a little bit on the C on the top there. Um, and these uh, the wings always want to look at your wings like I said before the wings always have something usually and then your olive branch and your tail feathers and this FG is almost gone as you can see that is almost gone it's almost completely missing you can see like the outline of it but it's really nothing there and then you get down here to the uh, olive branch and you can see some doubling here right in there that's all doubling the whole area there it's filled in with some dirt but it's definitely doubled and I do believe some of this right in here is doubled but I'm not positive on that but uh, here's a good example of the half dollar bean um, I've had better ones actually I have a lot better examples of half dollar being doubled uh, but this one will show you that it does double in dollar. Look at that, and half dollar. So uh, all the bottom here, and then uh, not as much on the A and the R on this one, um, but only towards the bottoms you can see. Um, otherwise, that is good. And nothing on this tail feather, as you can see. So that one's a good one. So let me show you the other one. And again, this one is a mint mark on the front, D. It's almost filled again. Um, that is an error itself, is a filled mint mark. So you can look for those as well. As you can see, I do not see anything on this. Um, I found a few that are actually missing the tip of the nose, like it was just cut off about here and there was like no attachment like it just looks like there's no nose at all just just the tip of the nose in this area but nothing from here up which is kind of cool so that part is missing so watch out for the noses that's definitely an error I've seen um, it's not a 71 I, uh, that I found that on um, but let me flip this one over and show you the back we'll start with United again and uh, nothing there states Nothing really there. Flip it over here to of. Nope, not really. And we keep going and scroll on over here to America, and there we go. That's where you see your doubling. You see, it's like you want to look at all of your coin, not just one point of a coin. You want to look at the entire coin because just because the top didn't say it, but look here, this is definitely doubled. This is definitely doubled. So had I not looked at the whole coin, I would have actually missed this one. So it teaches you to look at all your coins, all your points of the coin, move it around, get different angles of it, you know, lift it up, flip it up, so you can see what the light, you know, gives you different illusions and perspective of the, the coin. Uh, so you'll want to do that. It helps. Um, the olive branch here, again, you can see this one a lot more obvious than the other one. Half dollar is, again, really doubled. Uh, you can see it's not as good again i've had better examples uh, but this is a good one for 71 and uh, dollar again is doubled uh, as you can see all of this so always look at all your coins front and back and uh, i use these little posties uh, you know for uh, writing down what errors i have they work really really good um, i write down what it is what error I found. Uh, these slide right into the uh, clear plastic little sleeves that you can use for coins. It works perfect. It fits perfectly in the, the two by two uh, little sleeves. So this is how I keep track of what I have when I find it. So uh, that's, how I, that's how I do it. It's a cheap way, but uh, it works. And uh, it keeps me organized. So I can flip through my book and uh, find my errors when they come up. 
So anyways, this is Linda with Copperhead Collectibles. I hope you guys liked my video. Please hit that like button and subscribe to my page if you haven't. Um, and if you have, I really appreciate your subscribing to my page. I really appreciate it. Uh, you know, I'm really here to, you know, give you guys some, uh, you know, good, good, good ideas and some good examples of air coins. Uh, it's one of my passions, and uh, you know I really love to uh, look at look at coins. I spend a lot of time looking at coins and money, in general. So um, I hope you subscribe and leave me a comment and let me know what you think. And if you guys see something I don't see, or you guys have an error coin you want to share with me, by all means, uh, hit me back. And um, anyways, this is Linda with Copperhead Collectibles. You guys have a wonderful day. Bye bye.